Marami sa ating mga kababayan na nangarap makapagtrabaho o mag-migrate dito sa Canada. Ngunit sa panahon ito, ano nga ba ang pinakamadaling proseso? So tonight with me are Andrew and Alisa. They will share their stories kung paano sila nakarating ng Canada under the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Hi Alisa, hi Andrew. Hello, Good evening. Good evening. So how did you learn about this AIPP? Okay. Nalaman namin yung AIPP through agency na which is BAIC, BIAC sa Philippines. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ganun din ba sa'yo, Alisa? Yes po. Actually, it is not an agency, but rather it is a um, consultancy talaga siya. Okay. Ayun. So, ano ba yung mga qualifications sa uh, kung paano kayo o bakit kayo na-qualify under this program? Under this program, kailangan siya as requirements is yung job contract, mm-hmm. yung IELTS, tapos yung Educational Credentials Assessment or ECA, tapos proof of funds na $3,180, at saka mga COE. Okay, so medyo may difference pala ito kasi as far as I can uh, remember before nung Mahardi na dito sa Canada, wala kaming IELTS dati, tsaka wala kaming mga proof of funds. So yun, and um, hindi din sigurado, walang assurance na makakapunta kami dito at makukuha namin yung residency namin. Mm-hmm. So, um, how long was the process? So, anong year kayo nag-start mag-apply and uh, kailan kayo dumating ng Canada? Um, nag-start ako <clears throat> ng application May 2017, tapos nakarating ako dito sa Canada ng June 2019. So, almost two years din siya. Okay, ikaw Alisa? For me <clears throat> naman, I was interviewed by my employer um, 2017 of Um, October, then I started taking my IELTS na January 2018. And then, um, nakarating ako dito is same as Andrew, which is June 14th of this year. Okay. So, <clears throat> bali, nag-start nga itong uh, AIPP uh, is 2017. So, from then on pala, nag-start na sila na kumuha at um, uh, mag-source out ng mga um, pwede maging mga trabahador dito sa Atlantic or sa mm-hmm. Nova Scotia or New Brunswick and other provinces under uh, Atlantic Canada. Um, so, sino yung nag-process ng ano, applications nyo? Kayo ba or agency? Mostly ng process is through agency. Mm-hmm. So, kapag meron sila mga requirements na hinahanap, sinasubmit lang namin then sila na yung nagpa-process at saka nag upload ng mga documents. Uh-huh. Sila yung nagdo-double check before i-submit kay immigration para talagang pulido yung flow ng okay. ano natin process. So, do you, both of you have like, um, are you both uh, four-year grad? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, part siya ng ano, dapat qualifications? Uh-huh. I think. So, uh, mer- meron ba kayong idea paano kayo naging resident? Kasi ang nabalitaan ko, uh, when you arrive after 17 days, naging residence na, I mean, na, na-receive niya na yung PR yes, cards niyo. So, may idea kayo kung sino nag-process nun, or part na ba siya ng ano, program nung mag-apply kayo? As part <clears throat> ng program ng AIPP, um, diretso na siya as permanent resident. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, hindi na kami dumaan sa job contract. Sure. Pagdating namin dito, is in-interview na rin kami ng immigration officers tapos pagdating pagdating ng 17 days dumating na rin yung PR card namin wow napakadali yes po so blessed for that yeah. kasi kami noon um i think after more than two years ko makuha yung residency ko so um paano may meron ba kayong idea paano kayo nahanap paano kayo uh, paano kayo na source out ng employer saan kayo nag-apply through job bank ba indeed or mm-hmm. Yes. Um, pinag um, pinag um, create din kami ng profile dun sa indeed.ca uh, na job bank mm-hmm. tapos um, dun na yung naging selection ng employer para ma-hire kami then dumaan na rin kami sa interview tapos before yung application ng PR so, so mm-hmm. sino yung nag uh, nag-conduct ng interview yung agency or 
yung employer po, nag-arrange na sila ng interview dates at saka time. Mm-hmm. And then, nag-open na lang kami via FaceTime. Face ah, time. okay. So, same din pala sa amin. So, ano yung mga paghahanda niyo before kayo pumunta dito? So, like, um, nagpaalam na ba kayo sa parents niyo? na pupunta na kayo, ilang months kayo bago magpaalam, nag-resign na ba kayo sa, so paano yung process na? So yun, two years kasi sa akin, medyo matagal na proseso rin siya. Kaya ready na rin ako nung dumating ako dito. Actually, June, uh, June ako nakaalis, pero February pa lang, meron akong visa ng PR na immigrant. Tapos, um, so ready ko na rin dun yung sarili ko. Ikaw, Alisa? Um, since almost one year and six months yung process na nag-take sa akin. So, from the start, alam na nung family ko that I was going and processing mm-hmm. yung mga ano. So, medyo ready na din po. Um, do you have any doubts since med- medyo matagal yung ano, yung pagpunta niyo dito? Do you have any doubts na na-scam kayo or yung agency <laughs> hindi gumalaw? Meron bang ganon? Mm-hmm. May mga time kasi na kunyari, um, two months, three months, tapos hihintayin mo kung ano yung next step. So, habang naghihintay kami nun, parang syempre, so masagi rin sa isip mo na may possibility ba na may scam or may hinihintay pa ba kami o naghihintay ba kami sa wala. Pero syempre, um, tiwala lang dun sa process ng AIPP kasi nabibigyan naman kami ng maayos na update ng agency. Okay. So, magkano, would you mind me ask you, magkano yung nagastos niyo sa pag process or hiningi na um when it comes to that naman medyo may kalakihan so almost six uh, thousand US dollars yung na i ano natin na ilabas natin okay. for that pero um since for this program sagot naman ni employer yung ticket okay and ayun yung lodging ng natin na for one month pero ang alam ko isa pag naging resident kayo is automatic na din na kung like for example may family kayo is automatic na din silang magiging permanent residents. Ganun ba 'yon? Um pwede mo silang isabay sa application okay. pero sa case kasi namin is um individual yung naging process namin. Mm-hmm. Pero good thing is pwede namin sila makuha. Um mm-hmm. nang nandito na kami. Okay, I think I have all the uh, informations that I needed. So, guys, if you know uh, someone like your family or friends that uh, wanted to uh, migrate to Canada, just um, um, try or check this uh, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Or uh, you can reach us out at East Coast Filipino Portal. Just like and share East Coast Filipino Portal uh, Facebook page. And don't forget to... um. Watch our live stream every Friday. So thank you again, Alisa and um, Andrew. Thank you for.